So, we're going into silence tomorrow. Um, and the practice will be three hours sitting, three hours pacing or running or kin hin, going, three hours going, or slow walk. And two hours of parameters, that is bringing the belly into an a the action that you perform. Okay? But two hours, yes. Is that a problem? It, it's not so much for me that you have to s isolate those two hours out. You can spend ten minutes on the toilet. That will, it, it's a question of commitment, that you commit to come from the belly for that action, rather than pulling out actions. So it's quite reasonable that some of that will be things you already do, but that you do them with a full commitment to what you're doing, rather than... Parameters being... Fields of attention where you say, for the next 20 minutes I am going to brush my teeth, let's say. And that you um, establish which starts now, you, you have to establish the time and uh, brush your teeth for 20 minutes and you're watching everything that's going on. If you find you're distracted, you remind yourself just brushing my teeth. So the naming acts to punctuate and bring the attention back to the action you're performing. And it's quite reasonable within that you might become, it might become descriptive where you're you know, tasting, touching, feeling, not bothered whether that happens or not, for some it will, for some it won't, but that your attention's brought back when, when you see you're distracted. Yeah? You don't name the distraction, you name the parameter, and that keeps the attention facing the light, as we spoke yesterday. Yeah? Any other questions about parameters? So there are actions You could balance sticks, like we did, for uh, 10, 15, 20 minutes. Could be exercises. Can be exercises, yeah. But it's a, it's a mindfulness practice. And what I would say is, the f purpose of this period is that you're ex exploring the different ways that you can bring the belly and in, into, into the action and let go of identity. All the things that we've been working on to, you've got your formal practice, which is the, the going, ex, you know, the walking exercises and the sitting practice. Um, and this is, in a sense, introducing other activities in a more formal way. So it's not just going through the exercises in the morning in the same way. It would be saying, right, I'm going to do 10 minutes exercises in order to keep my attention in the belly. Yeah. The one hour session in the morning does not count, can't be included as a parameter, the morning exercise se sequence. Yeah. Could we can spend some of the work period. Absolutely. I, I see that's really valuable to take 10, 15, 20 minutes. You don't want it too long because what will happen is identity will grab hold of it and you, you'll wear out. We want really sharp attention for those, those parameters. Um, other things that are regularly done, the balancing stick thing, the sitting um, somewhere looking at a, a view and you decide that tree there to that tree there, that's my view, I'm going to give my attention to that. And you just look at all the change that's going on within that, per, that vista. Yeah, and that's a reasonable being thing to... Being aware of the vista or being aware of the vista? Being aware of the vista, being aware of any changes that are happening. Another way is to take a piece of ground like this and watch it and see all the things that are going on there because there'll be loads of things going on. And just give your attention to that if you find the attention drifts, bring it back. Or um, to go down to the river and to sit with your back to the sound 
and listen to the sound of the river behind you. And is it connecting that whatever the current is it's to the tension in your belly? Yeah, exactly that. You're listening and looking from the belly. Okay. And you're balancing the stick from the belly. You're looking for the undulation. And, and uh, you, this time is to become absorbed, to give you time to work out your relationship with, you know, from the belly to the present moment and leaving and discarding this old idea, me. Yeah? So if it's getting too much, feel free to go back and undulate and uh, find whatever works for you to bring you back into the present moment. And that, uh, obviously, the pacing will help enormously, as well as sitting, in establishing that settled state so that you can see, it gives you a reference point as how, how to balance the Joe, for instance. I had a really nice um, thing in the river. That was, that was great. Yeah. And, um, and then for about, well, for a little while afterwards, there was a very different quality to things. It was like, um, just like a veil had been lifted yeah. and, and um, there was a real delight in things like the, the yeah. sun coming through the leaves. And yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, quite often, given the opportunity to do this sort of work, you can go very elemental and explore the, f you know, the four, five elements yeah. um, and spend ten minutes feeling the wind and then do some practice and ten minutes feeling the water and and so forth yeah. and, and just really recognize bring it back to the fact that that's all there is there is nothing else going on but these elements interacting and with each other and that this thing that thinks it's me is also just elements interacting with each other and you can feel them you know, when you get used to the feeling of water and air and then you feel in the body, you can feel the same movements and you recognize that's just water and air, that feeling. And the same with heat and solidity. Yeah, that's a good route. Um, really, my practice today was just constantly looking at the same, the same uh, pattern you know, yeah, yeah. Itself on and then I'd let it go. And yeah. Back it. And it's just like Are you tree exercising it? No, I haven't done that. No. One of the things that's useful is to learn to turn it on. If you found a pattern, it's really useful to learn to turn it on. Yeah. And turn it off and turn it on and turn it off. Within that sort of safe environment of something like the tree exercise. I'll tell you next year. We have too much to work with already. <laughs> you don't need it yet. <laughs> yeah. No, the purpose of this week is to come from the belly, not to sort out an old habit. So I'm happy, you know, I wouldn't do that. Because it can become chasing the devil. And what, you, what we all need is to just come, come find your lover. You know, come in to the belly and find your home, find your sanctuary and rest there and enjoy it and get used to it. Arrange the furniture the way you want to arrange it and all that sort of thing. Get used to being at home.